It wasn't just the weight of the nation riding on Quade Cooper's boot on Sunday night. For the win, it's on its way! But perhaps the 33-year-old's own citizenship hopes. Probably without playing, playing that game, it, it may not have, um, have been able to come to fruition. Cooper's referring to the government's decision to allow more flexibility for applicants it deems distinguished and exceptional. Artists and, and sports stars will be able to access Australian citizenship faster uh, in, in line with public expectations. Cooper moved across the ditch when he was 13 and has applied four times for citizenship. He was last knocked back in July and tweeted, wearing the green and gold 70 times is apparently not enough these days. There was a lot of pressure from, from the Australian public, um, the media. The sticking point, a residency rule where applicants must not have spent more than 12 months abroad in the four years before applying. Cooper's career has often taken him overseas, even during the pandemic. To be able to not know if I was going to be able to come back to my home, that was quite a, a daunting um, feeling. Now he'll be granted a concession, so too will ACDC's Angus Young, who migrated from Glasgow in the 60s but has never been in Australia long enough to meet the requirements. They'll have a much shortened test, they'll be able to qualify faster. The decision won support from political opponents, Shadow Home Affairs Minister Christina Keneally describing it as a bloody great outcome for Quaid and Australia, but adding he is hoping for a good, sensible outcome for the Billa Wheeler family. It's very clear that this country puts sports over humanity. Refugee advocates say it reeks of double standards. Does it just take a kicking goal to grant you permanent protection because you're considered someone that's exceptional? There's more to being Australian than just a piece of paper. Jessica Stewart, ABC News, Brisbane.